I know one of your areas of passion is the front edge of the church, just yeah. where the church is at. It's at its heart and soul innovating, trying to think differently yeah. outside the box. When you think about like the summit and its relationship to innovation in the context of the yeah. local church, can you just talk about that for a minute? Just yeah. talk about why you love that. Talk Absolutely. about why that's such a big yeah, deal. Yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah. And every generation right. since the start of the church, um, we humans have a tendency to put all our baggage and all our... Sure. Well, I was going to say crap, but I'll go ahead <laughs> and say it. Uh, whatever. It's viral, so it's okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, we have a tendency to put all our stuff on the unchanging, beautiful, life-changing gospel message, hmm. the Jesus way. And we put on it organization, and we put on it hierarchy, and we put on it structure, and we put on it our culture, and we put on it our rules and regulations, and then we get mixed up what was the Jesus way originally and what was our way. And then we start labeling the whole thing the Jesus way. Mm. And then when it comes time to throwing our stuff away, we, can't, we don't know how to do that. Right, right. So the way that happens, though, because it happens every generation, of course, of course. is that there's, there's always a minority, there's always a courageous few, there's always a Gideon few who are going to take the rocks that are going to get thrown their way, and they're going to start the pruning process of getting rid of the human stuff that isn't effective anymore and keeping it pure to the Jesus way. That pruning process happens every generation. And we see as a very deep calling in the WCA um, uh, uh, serving those people. It's good. I mean, we are not, that. nothing we do is in fact distinctive or unique. There are tons of other organizations, of denominations that do what we do. What's distinct is the laser focused calling that God has called us to do it for. Hmm. And God's called us to do it for the pioneers, these progressives, these innovators, these leaders that are going to go. Um, uh, go about answering God's call on their life, whatever the risks uh, in their setting, to do what's right for the sake of the church continuing to prevail. And that's the focus of who we serve.